All right, so in the last video, I mentioned at the very end that my Evo 8 is done with paint. The painter has had it for about two weeks now, and tonight we are gonna go pick that car up. It's actually the same day as the last video, but I wanted to record this special moment in history for you guys. So let's go grab the Evo 8 and see how good it turned out. What is good? Ooh, hello, beautiful. <laughs> Right, guys so we got the car there are a few little things on it that i'm not completely happy with and here in a second i'll show you sorry i couldn't show you guys last night it was completely dark out and the car wasn't in the garage or anything when i showed up there so yeah let's get back to the house and before we get to work on the evo 10 bobby's evo 10 i will kind of show you guys a few things on the, the car show you guys how it turned out So keep in mind, the car still needs a severe buff job. The whole rest of the car that wasn't painted is pretty scratched up and messed up. So what all they did is the nose chop, which I'm very happy with. I've never seen a nose chop come out that good. You, I literally took out my flashlight last night and I could not tell where anything was done. So I'm very impressed with that. I do need to get redo the, like buy a new mesh piece for behind there because there is like a hole in the mesh. So nose chop, full front bumper respray, hood respray, all that looks absolutely amazing. This front fender was resprayed because we had that chip. That looks super nice. Um, I need to get this thing like out actually in the sun and make sure the color matches perfectly. Rear bumper came out like eight out of 10. It is a rep. It's a fiberglass rep of a JDM Evo 9. So I don't want to pay him a bunch of money to fix a red bumper. It's all cracked up and whatnot. It looks good, I'm, I'm happy with it. The wing is where, actually it's better in the sun. I don't know, maybe I'll keep it. Last night, you could tell where it was faded before and where it, where it wasn't faded. The actual carbon fiber was faded. And if I knew it was, if I knew it wasn't gonna look perfect, I would have just bought a new wing for this car. But honestly, in the sun, it's not bad. You can, can you guys even see that? Probably not. I don't think you guys can even see it, so I probably shouldn't be complaining. And then the trunk goes re-sprayed as well. I don't know how he, did he pop that badge off or just paint around it? I don't really know. Um, we had a bunch of damage right down there and it came out perfectly. So yeah, the car still needs a ton of work. Full cut and buff on the whole thing. Got a weld in that muffler, the HKS muffler. Uh, fix all the trim on it, new wheels, new coilovers, maybe a motor build in the future we'll see it's already 2.4 but i don't know maybe i'll change it up but yeah let's head out the shop and get busting back on the i almost said being an evo 10 back on the blown evo 10 bobby's evo 10. so this is where we left off yesterday we have all the motor mounts on the engine transmission transfer are all bolted up together so everything's good to go there we put on the slave cylinder just to make sure the clutch operates properly and it does so from here we're going to move on to let's see we could either do some stuff on the front like the intake manifold power steering alternator assembly or we can do the turbo kit i think i'm going to just do stuff up front that's going to be a little bit easier it's still early in the morning and i don't feel like getting pissed off with with turbo kit stuff right now so let's bang out everything on the front it's relatively easy to do. All right, we got a lot of the stuff up here buttoned up. I would highly recommend doing the alternator and power steering kind of together. They kind of bolt on with a lot of the same mount. So if you bolt one on, get it all tight and then go to do the other one, it's a real pain in the ass to get off. So let's throw on the two pulleys, get the accessory belt on, and then we can move on to the turbo kit.
before we mount the turbo, we have some serious work to do. That hole right there is stripped out. That hole right there has a broken off bolt. So we're gonna have to fix both of those. And then we can move on to bolting this whole assembly up. Let's clean up this giant disaster we have from drilling out broken bolts and then we can move on to getting the turbo and manifold onto the car. All right, the whole turbo setup is on. We still have the heat shield, but I'll get that on later. Right now, I'm gonna tackle some of this wiring because there is quite a bit of wiring and I wanna spend some time on it, make sure everything is plugged in properly. So yeah, let's get after that. And then from there, we could probably do like the downpipe. We still have to do some of the coolant lines over here, the shifter linkage, and what else? Injectors with the fuel rail, and then honestly, it's like fluids and we could probably fire this thing up. I don't know if we're gonna start it today. I guess stay tuned. Tell the tell later on to see if we actually get started. All right, boys, I've done that a million times, so all the wiring was very simple to do. We still have the coil packs to install, but I have new plugs we wanna drop in here first. So I'll do that later on when we're finalizing up like all the oils and whatnot. What we're gonna move on to now is the downpipe. Downpipes are never fun, especially on Evo 10s. So I'm gonna knock that out. While we're down there doing the downpipe install, remember how we pulled the subframe on this car with the motor tranny transfer? All the subframe stuff is loose, so I'm gonna go ahead and crank all that down while I'm underneath the car. As soon as you get the downpipe and all that subframe stuff tightened up, it's really just fluids. We do need to put a new oil cooler on the car and we don't have one. So I think I'm gonna steal the oil cooler off the abandoned Evo 10. This one, there is an oil cooler on this car, but being that this motor had a catastrophic bearing failure or pretty much a complete failure all around, uh, I'm guessing that oil cooler is full of metal. So I definitely don't wanna run that on a brand new motor.
All that is really left is all the fluids and the oil cooler swap, drain the tank, put fresh gas in here. I know Bobby, of course, really wants to be here for the first startup of her own car. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up today's video right here. I really hope you enjoyed it. Tomorrow, this thing will 100% be running. We have to get this thing done tomorrow, either tonight or tomorrow. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.